Hello everyone, Angry Weasel here. Today I want to bring 5 tips for new players in Path of Exile. Tip number 1. Choosing the right starting class for the skill type you want to use. For this example I will use Ground Slam and Freezing Pulse. Now as you can see in the highlights on the screen, each gem have a few tags. These tags will help us figure out what we need to look for when planning our build. Let's start first with Ground Slam. Ground Slam's tags is Attack, AoE, Melee. Each tag can be searched for in the tree so you can more easily pin down which way you want to plan your build. Attack signifies the use of a melee or ranged weapon, or in one case, unarmed. Those nodes will not work for spells. AoE stands for Area of Effect. These nodes can be used for all skills that has the AoE tag. Melee signified that this is a skill that is used for melee, so you can only use melee weapons with it. Several melee skills have additional requirements that what type of melee weapon that can be used. Ground Slam, as we use in this example, can only be used with staves and maces. Now for our second example. Freezing Pulse Tags is Projectile, Spell and Cold. Projectile works much in the same way as AoE nodes, as those will work for both ranged attack projectiles and spells with this tag. The spell tag signifies that the spell damage nodes will work for this skill. This is not always true since minion skill gems will also have this tag, but only minion nodes will affect minions. Cold signifies that cold damage nodes will work for this skill. The same is true for elemental damage nodes. An exception is if the node with either cold damage or elemental damage has the word damage with weapons in it, since that signifies that this node is for melee or ranged attack builds. When you read the skill text for Freezing Pulse, you can see that it decreases its damage the further away you hit enemies. This range can be increased with projectile speed, which can be found in the tree and on wands. Now what I just showed you before was the active skill gem. In Path of Exile, we have support gems as well, which you can use to link with the active gem. For this example, I want to show off Fire Trap. Fire Trap here is linked with three other gems. You have to remember that the item itself has to be linked for you to be able to use the support gems with the active gem. So in this case, I've linked it with concentrated effect, which decreases the area of effect, but gives me more damage. I also have added control destruction, which adds more spell damage, but less critical chance. And then I added in trap and mind damage support, which in this case increases the trap damage but uh, reducing the trap throwing speed. Each class has a set of gems they can buy from the vendor. In each act you will find a vendor where it's, you are able to buy the gems. So here I am in act 1 and you can see all the different gems I can buy here. So that's also a good place to see if there's anything interesting you want to try out. The vendors that sell gems is Nessa in act 1, Yena in act 2, Clarissa in act 3 and Petarus and Vanya in act 4. Tip number 2. Loot Filters The loot filter is a feature that GGG put into the game a few expansions ago, and it has really helped players remove a lot of the item clutter on the screen. With a loot filter you can hide unwanted white items or make them smaller and less visible. You can have sound cues for important currency drops or unique items. It's fully customizable, but for new players I would suggest using Neversync's loot filter. He updates it often and is my go-to loot filter. I will put a link below for the download location. He offers a lot of different filters, but I would suggest using the full version. This is how you install Neversync's loot filter. You have to go to your documents, my games, and then go into the Path of Exile folder. When you're into that folder, you can just put the filter in. Now, as I said, I would suggest taking the full version and just drag it in. Now to activate the filter, you have to go to UI in Path of Exile and go all the way down to the bottom until you reach Lift of Item Filters. There you choose the filter you want to use and just press it in at Save. Tip number 3. Potions. Potions in Path of Exile refills automatically when you kill monsters, so be sure to use them whenever you need life or mana. You can also use a transmute orb on them to gain additional prefixes and affixes such as an instant life flask and other helpful mods. I will put uh, two links below this video where you can see all the mods available for the flasks. Tip number four, resistances. Resistances play a big part of your survival in Path of Exile. There's three elemental resistances, fire, cold, lightning. 
and one for chaos damage. The maximum you can get in each per default is 75%. When you first start the game you will have zero in each of the resistances. In Act 1 you will mostly need cold resistances. In Act 2 you mostly need lightning and fire resistance. In Act 3 you will need all three resistances. For Act 4 you should try to have at least 50% in all resistances before progressing. Chaos damage is first really scary when you enter maps, so you shouldn't worry much about it until then. When you enter Cruel, which is the second playthrough, you will get minus 20% to all your resistances. And when you enter Merciless, you will get additional minus 40% to your resistances. So it's always important to look at your resistance when enter the next difficulty. Tip number 5. Bandits. In each difficulty you will meet 3 bandits in Act 2. You will have the choice of either killing all 3 and gain a skill point or help one of them to get a reward. Each reward is different for each of the bandits and they differ from each difficulty. In normal you get the following rewards from the bandits. Oak, 40 to maximum life. Kraton, 10% to all elemental resistances. Alira, 60 to maximum mana. In Cruel, Oak will give you 16% physical damage. This works for both physical spells and attacks. Rayton, 8% attack speed. Alira, 5% cast speed. In Merciless, Oak will give you plus 1 to maximum endurance charge. Rayton will give you plus 1 to maximum frenzy charge. And Alira will give you plus 1 to maximum power charge. If you have made a wrong choice in one of the difficulties, you can go back to the vendor in Act 2 in that difficulty and offer 20 Orb of Regrets and an Amber Amulet to gain Oak's Rewards or a Jade Amulet to gain Cradlins or a Lapis Amulet to gain Alira's. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you like this kind of content, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If there's anything else you would like to know about Path of Exile, please leave a comment below. Have a great day. Bye.